Okay, Khan, first and foremost, we want to say Khan. Khan, 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 Um, this is in the book of 1st Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse 1, and it says, But of the times and seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourself know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. That's right. So, what does that mean? When, he, when, uh, when Paul was writing this, he was not just writing this for everybody to read, but he was writing this to the elect. Yeah. Now, why, why, why is it that we don't need to know the seasons and the times of when uh, Yahweh Shai will come and destroy this kingdom? It's because one, in a deep sense, if we knew exactly when Yahweh Shai was going to come, then we know such thing as faith. That in itself is there's no balance there, yeah. right? But then on, 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 um, uh, on another level. It also is because and yet, because he's not gonna the Yahweh Shai is not gonna come as a thief in the night to us. Yeah. When somebody breaks into your house, you're scared. You're scared because you're surprised. You didn't know this was gonna happen. Yeah. If someone, if you knew that your neighbor was planning to break into your house on Monday, you'd be ready. Yeah. Right. But we know that Yahweh Shai is coming. That's evident. We can see that. We can see how, like you said, how how uh, uh, this kingdom is passed over due for destruction. We can see how wicked society is. We can see the the, the the corruption, not in just people alone, but in our own people. Yeah. The people who are supposed to be of righteous, of promise. Yeah. That alone tells us Yahweh Shai is coming soon. Yeah. And then our own faith. So we know Yahweh Shai is coming soon. So when he comes, we're going to be as more so, you know, Lord willing, we have the elect, rather than running around like a chicken with your head cut off. What do I do? What do I do? Where are the answers? Yeah. Yeah, and also like, you know, just, you know, just like on a, on a every single day basis, yeah. you know, waking up, going to work, dealing with the same thing over and over, man, like, you know, there's just, like, you know, there's no place here for us, man, yeah. honestly, man, like, I just feel like shit all the goddamn time, bro, I'm just like, bro, this place is fucking hell, bro, and then, you know, when you hear the words of the scriptures that comforts you, it makes you want to get out of here even more. Even quicker. Right? Even quicker, even yeah. quicker man. You know, just like you know, I'm hearing uh, the brothers talk about, you know, the kingdom, you know, and the righteousness, you know, the things that we're going to get in the kingdom and so on and on. You know, those things actually make you want to get out of here, man. But at, but at the same time, you know, it still keeps you grounded because it reminds you what you're fighting for. You yeah, know? yeah, which is, yeah, that's where you find the balance. Yeah, exactly. You know, it reminds, it, it reminds you what or why you're doing this thing, man. It's because of this reward, you know. And you're not doing this thing in vain, man. Which is why it's very really important, like the brother said, is having faith. If we knew that the Lord was coming, okay, uh, next Monday, yeah. guess what? And then again, Jake always does things that, you know, uh, like, you know, I mean, Jake always does things last minute, yeah. you know? <laughs> Exams, you know, they said it the night before, yeah, you know? Just last minute. Right, yeah. you know what I mean? Or like, you know, like, especially the women, you know, they're always late, you know, like, whenever, like, you guys want to go out and get late, you know, she's always looking forever. Always yeah. doing things last minute. If we knew that the Lord was coming next Monday, guess what? We would try to get righteous Sunday night. You know what I mean? Which goes to show you that you had no faith. You were doing wickedness all this long time, but then just at the last minute, that's when you want to get arrested. Exactly, man. That's but wicked. but nah, man. Even your house that is not when he's gonna return, man. Yeah. You know, so, you yeah. know right? Yeah. So that goes to show you that how important it is for us mm -hmm. not to know. Yeah. If Yahushai, our Lord doesn't know when he's coming back, you best believe that we're we're far from knowing. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. We're far from knowing as in the actual date. We yeah. know the times and the seasons, you know, because the Lord told us to pretty much, you know, um, observe. You know, yeah, watch. It, 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 exactly. You know, the Lord said, you know, um, like you know, I'm going to measure the time diligently, yeah. right? You know, so we do have, like, you know, uh, right? Like, you know, I mean, so we do have an idea, mm -hmm. you know, because of the signs that's going on, and on yeah. you know, but the actual date, we don't know, man. Exactly. You know, and that's beautiful, you know, keep it that way, which will, you know, pretty much keep, keep the different Hopkins hungry, you know, to keep. 
doing the work in order for your Shai to return back to you. Right? And everybody that's not, and everybody on the opposite side, uh, it's going to get destroyed because because when like again, it just goes back to people. Uh, um, it just goes back to people wanting, uh, uh, looking for the answers. They're going to be looking for answers then because they're not listening now. Yeah, and then also, you know, just like with recently, like when um, YouTube uh, was shut down or whatever, yeah. bro, like, I can, we're, we're, like, you know, we're rejoicing, man, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. like, you know, I can was rejoicing, man, you know, but then again, man, you know, the reason why they shut down that YouTube was because, you know, um, and YouTube, you know, how, like, they always have some live, mm-hmm. like, you know, how much or whatever, you know, there was, like, you know, I'm a fleets of chariots, you know, um, going, like, you know, I'm a, um, into the moon, you know what I mean? You know, right? Like yo, like there was like an armored fleets and fleets of chariots, you know. And obviously, you know, they didn't want people to see that, so they, so they, they, they just shut it down. And then when YouTube was back up again, all of the videos were gone, deleted. Uh-huh. You know, these songs are full because they, 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 they think that was okay. You get, you get the chariots. Yeah. Where, where they knew about yeah, it, and they also not videos. to be dismayed. Yeah, not to be dismayed. You know, so we're not gonna be like, whoa, it's the chariots. Yeah. Where do you know that those are the vehicles that the angels drive, and that's how we're gonna get salvation out of here? Yeah, you know, right. the elect. You know, uh, the prophets are not gonna be all, uh, you know, um, in awe about it. You know, yeah, yeah. You they know? understand. They know what's going on. Exactly. Exactly. All right. And it says, verse two, for you, for yourself, know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. That's why we don't care about living in luxury, man. No. We don't care about one love, There's peace, no world peace. No. Yeah, we do care about peace, but under we th- we care about the the peace that the scriptures speak about. Yeah, and. And in the time that it's supposed to happen. Exactly. <laughs> we don't you care about peace now. Fuck yeah, that. yeah, fuck that. This is the time for judgment. Man. Yeah. You know what? There, there is every single person, including ourselves, need to serve judgment, man. We need to serve judgment. There is so many things and atrocities that Esau needs to be hold, held accountable, accountable for. Yeah. Accountable for. Yeah. The rest of you nations too, and two thirds of Israel. Yeah. We're the elect, low room, we're of the elect. We are being held accountable right now. Yeah. In the midst of all you guys, when you in the midst of your heaven. Yeah. We, we're we're going through hell in the midst of your heaven. Yeah. Because everybody that's not on this side of the sign is living in their heaven. Yeah. So called. You know. You know. Like it's funny. I was watching over the over the weekend. Um, Will Smith jumped out of the Grand Canyon or something like that on his, on his 50th birthday, and he made some like big documentary about it. And like everybody was tuned in, and like I was like, yo, there's like helicopters. You see this ho- his house and shit. Like, yo, these, yo, Jake, like two thirds of them just really live in nice in this kingdom, man. They really live in their heaven. Now, and I started thinking to myself, I was like, how is that even fair for them to get what they get in the kingdom? It just shows you how bad their destruction is gonna be. It's gonna be, yeah. They're, 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 oh man, they're. Because that's not balanced. It's not balanced when they live nice here and they live nice in the kingdom. No. But the, the balance is what ju- what judgment they're going to serve here. Because even the scripture says that um, in the book of Revelation 9 and 6, I believe it says that in those days, some shall seek death, but no, death right. shall flee away from them. Yeah. You know, yeah. so they're actually going to get tortured. Tortured. You know, even more and more and more. Because even, you know, like what's with us on and on, we only see the highlights of how they're living. But the things that they did to get those riches and so on and on, bro, like like every single day, like they must hate their lives, man. Oh man, that's why they that's why they live like that. Exactly. Just to get their mind away from the truth. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, true. That's really what they do. That's why Jake that's why Jake hates us, man. Because every time they come up, every time Jake come up to us, we show them, hey, don't forget about your demons. Hey, don't forget that you're wicked. Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah, you're wicked. See that? You see, see the weed and the partying you're doing with your yeah. friends? You're wicked. Yeah. Don't forget, though. Okay, let me get out of here. They keep telling me the truth. Let me get out of here real quick. Yeah. Come on. It's honestly crazy because a lot of people, um, when they speak about how that the truth hurts and so on and on, they don't ever think. That when they're being told the truth, that one day it might actually hurt them. You know, <laughs> they're always speaking of it as if like, as if like they've never taken it 
the wrong way before, you know? You know what <laughs> yeah, I mean? Yeah, it's nothing new. You've Bro, heard this before. honestly, man. And they know it too. That's yeah. why, uh, that's why, man, Jake retaliates in a certain way. Yeah. You know, when, we, when we're out here talking about slavery and the judgment that you so-called white people are going to serve and you other nations are going to serve for what you've done to Jake, you look at it as a the reason why you get upset is because you've been told this before. It's like, it's like, uh, that old saying, oh, you sound like a broken record. Yeah, yeah, you keep repeating yourself. Yeah, listen, if you were told the truth and you never knew it the very first time, you're not going to be mad. It makes no sense. Yeah. You have no reason to be mad about something you never knew in the first place. So if you're pissed off about it, if you're being told the truth, and you're pissed off about it, it's because you know it's true. Yeah. You've been told it before. You yeah. just want to be able to ignore it. Yeah. Like, like, I remember being young and your mom always telling you to clean your room. Like, hey, I know I need to clean my room. Stop telling this over and over again. Yeah. That's yeah. how you Israelites act, man. Right? Yeah. And that's the thing about our it's a lot of, you know, No, 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 no go, ahead, go ahead. That's go the ahead. thing about our people, like when you read the scriptures, like the Lord repeats himself over and over and over and over is. again, right? Yeah, Which goes is. to show you, man, that the Lord knows. The Lord knows our people, man. Yeah. I was just you know? that's a spirit. Right? He's that's the one that spirit. created us. He knows that our people need repetition in order for whatever information that the Lord that the Lord is trying to push. In order for it to drill in their mind. Because they're stiff neck. Right? Stiff neck, hard neck. Most would, if we weren't hard headed, the most I wouldn't have to repeat himself. So. Yeah. It's that simple. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And it says, For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. And another point on that, on that verse, man, is crazy because you see, now you see, well, you see, the confusion is on a high, at an all-time high. It's getting worse. It's getting like, worse, it's getting man. Worse. On one side, you, you get like, you get people, like for instance, my sister, I was chilling out with her yesterday, and like, she doesn't know the script. She knows I, I know the scripture. She knows about how I think about and how I view the world, basically. She knows how I view the world. Um, and she also understands that, you know, these people that are living nice, that they've done some wicked shit to get what they've got. The Illuminati. They know yeah. it in a carnal sense. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's confusing though because at the same time when you see, like I saw my sister talk about how wicked it is that, you know, what they did to get to where they are. But at the same time, she wants to be where they are. <laughs> yeah. I, you know, and it's so, it's like, this place is, that's Esau, that's why Esau needs to go because this started with Esau. They started with Esau rounding up Jake, two thirds of Israel, being like, listen, you want riches? You want to live like you're in the kingdom? Do as I say and I'll give you everything. Bro, oh, exactly, man. You know, even yeah. like um, with my cousin, you know, mm -hmm. like, you know, I'm a, he wants to be a musician, you know, and he was posting, like, you know, I'm a tourist of a singer and stuff on Facebook. Yeah. And you have a lot of people saying, yo, good job, man, you mm -hmm. know, pretty much praising him. Mm -hmm. And I told him straight up, like, you know, I wrote the comments, like, yo, if you want to be a musician, you got to understand that in this world, it does not matter how fucking good you are, you have to sell your soul. Mm -hmm. You know, in order for you to get to the top, you have to sell your soul. You know, and people did not like what I was saying, mm -hmm. because I was actually telling them the truth. Mm -hmm. It is not, bro, do you know how many talented basketball players, you know, um, or like, you know, I'm a musician, or whatever, mm -hmm. how many talented actors there are in this world that we don't even fucking hear about? You know, it's but because you know people are living right? in their own exactly. It's because they have not sold their soul. They do not want to take that next step. Yeah. The people that sold their souls are the ones that are being praised, and that's who you see on a constant daily basis on you know um, our social media platforms yeah. and so on and on, right? So you know, like when I was telling him that I wasn't bashing him, I was yeah. telling him the truth. Yo, if this is your goal, if this is where you want to get you know to, you know, do. know exactly the path that you're walking on, and that you will have to eventually sell your soul. Yeah. You know, and the guy's like, nah, man. You know, like you know, I'm never gonna sell my soul. So Okay, well then you know, like you're, you're just gonna keep doing this forever. You know what I mean? Because yeah. honestly, like you're you're not gonna get views. People are not gonna yeah. see exactly what you're, you know, pretty much like I'm trying to push out there. You know, you're not a YouTuber, you know, and so yeah. on. So there is no fucking way that you're gonna get to the top if yeah. you don't sell your soul. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because this is the world that we live in. So again, they know this information. They know that how this world gets. You know, just like you know, um, on a general basis or whatever. You know, um, but. 
they still want those riches. You can't get those riches, okay, unless you're in the kingdom and you're an Israelite. That's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. On this side, you have to sell your soul. Yeah. That's it, bro. You like, can't get around you know that, what I mean? There's no, bro. Say you try to get your house, you have to sell your soul. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. people like, forget about that. You know what I mean? A lot of people are Christians right? and they forget that. Right? If Satan tried to get your house, you have to sell your soul. Yo, if Satan tried to get the Lord, how much more are you fucking yeah. peons, man? <laughs> you know what I mean? Right? Bro, that's crazy, man. Yeah, man. Those are those are serious. Those are words of wisdom, yeah. man. Because you know, again, going back to uh, 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 my sister, I couldn't even like I looked at her and I wanted to like, yo, you know, you know, you talk about this, but you, like you, 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 every day you tell me you want to be famous. I was gonna say that, but I was like, ah, there's no point. I just have to take in how wicked this place is, man. The system is confused because this is it. This is it, simply and broken down. Wisdom, like, if there is any level or any sense of confusion around where you are, it means there's wickedness around. Because if there's, if there's no confusion, because because wisdom is not confusing, it's straightforward. Because it's the truth, hence the word, hence the word logic. Yeah. Logic is truth because it's logical. It makes sense. Yeah. So if this, if you're confused about, if there, if there's a confusing, if you're in a confusing in a confusing situation, it's because one of you are doing, or one or the other person or both of you are doing something wicked to confuse the matters. Yeah. So that's Esau. Esau put a mass amount of confusion not just on the people, but in the in, in, in the food. There's confusion yeah. in the food. Yeah. There's confusion in the air. There's confusion in the air. There's confusion in your bodily functions. Yeah. Because like the vibration that it pushes, yeah. it, it's actually against um, your natural being, yeah. you know, like how you're actually, disposition. exactly man, yeah. it's actually against it, yeah. so even though you might have the truth, yeah. right, you could just be eating like crap, <laughs> and actually be thinking differently because of the time, you know what I mean? Yeah, see, it's like, a massive amount of confusion, bro, right? honestly, there is no way around it, the Lord has to come back and deliver us, we need deliverance, that's just it, yeah. that's just like, there is no way we can get out of this, you know, uh, condition yeah. without the Lord. You know what I mean? And that's why, you know, like Moses, for example, right? Moses, you know, um, he was raised, you know, uh, by Pharaoh, right? Yeah. And he was living good and so on and on. You know, he wasn't going through the hell that his fellow brethren were going through, but the Lord showed him, right? Yeah. Like, right, like yeah. um, when he was, like, you know, um, uh, like, you know, I'm um, pretty much up there in the trailers for 40 days and 40 nights, yeah. right? The Lord showed him, you know, how Jake was going to get the blessings, the loss, and so on and on. The Lord showed him the kingdom. That's why, you know, when he came down or whatever, you know, like, uh, you know, uh, that's why, like, you know, I'm a, when he went back, like, you know, I'm a, and told Pharaoh, like, you know, I'm a pretty much to let the children of Israel go. That's because he already knew and he had already, See, like, you know, exactly, like, you know, I'm a, he had already foreseen, you know, um, and what's the word? Like, you know, I'm a, he had already, like, you know, I'm a, made a commitment, you know, I'm a, like, you know, I'm a, to what he was going to do yeah. uh, in order to get the rewards that the Lord showed him, right, you know, right, right? right, just like we're doing now, exactly, yeah, you know, right. otherwise, he wouldn't be like, you know what, Lord, this is not for me, I'm just going to go back, you know, and live with Pharaoh, because yeah. you know what, life is good right now, yeah, you know what I mean, yeah, yeah. right, like, you know, Moses was thinking about the future, and yeah. for his people, man, you know what I mean, which was a blessing, because, you know, with him doing that, goes to show you that, you know, it's not all about just living for now, man. No, you have faith. You know? Exactly. You can see, see, that's, man, that's, that's pretty, that's why faith is powerful, because faith lets you see what will happen in the future, yeah. not what might happen. <laughs> yeah. It's just that, you know, you have to... It just needs to happen. Yeah, exactly. it just needs to happen. That's yeah. all it needs, that's just, all it needs to go through. Which goes, you know, into patience and just waiting for it. Exactly. You know? Yeah. You know, and then back on this topic, pulling on, rounding back to my point about Esau and the confusion. So now you have these people who are living a confused life, which is Jake. And lit, you know, Esau's good. That's why in Jeremiah it says that in Jeremiah 3 and 33 that we have taught the yeah, other nations our wickedness. our wickedness because we literally are good at whatever we touch. If we touch wickedness, we're yeah. good at it. If we hey. touch righteousness, we're good at it. Yeah, like. You know, so like, no, no, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, when the scripture ahead. says that Jake is the former of all things, yeah, that's yeah. righteousness and wickedness, that's man. Anyway. Right? Yeah, Come that's, on. Anyway. Yeah, that's beautiful, man. Yeah, so that's yeah. it. <laughs> that's the point. Yeah. There you go. That's yeah, you know, one mind, one mind. Yeah, cut. Cut. Yeah. <laughs> and, it, and it says, verse 4 But ye brethren are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. See, we're not confused. We know the truth. Yeah. 
We know the truth. We, we just gotta be able to endure until the end. Yeah. That's it, because it's like, we already have it, man. Yeah. You know, what more do you need? At you know this what point, I mean? it's all about yeah. waiting. Yeah. At this point, it's all about waiting. Huh. And it says, Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. You know, when they say that sleep is a cousin of death, that's a very true statement, man, because on a spiritual level, all the sleeping that you people are, that Jake's doing on the other side of this thing, and the rest of the nation, actually, it really matters about Jake, the rest of the nation that he saw always going to be sleeping. Even in the kingdom, is still going to be sleeping because it's going to try to rebel. Yeah, which is why we're going to be judges. Exactly. We're going to judge them because they're going to go off. Exactly. You know, there would be no need for us to judge if everyone was going to be perfect. Yeah, exactly. Right? right? Yeah. You know, with Jake, Jake, Jake's sleeping spiritually, man. It's not even physically that they're sleeping. It's deeper. It's yeah, spiritually. It's spiritual sleep. They don't understand that that there are the 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 the, the sons and the daughters of, of the Most High. You know, and that they have a promise, they have a heritage that's been hidden from them in plain sight. And then they have men, on top of that, they have men that the Lord himself, through Yahweh Shai, have built up to understand the truth in a confusing world so you can get it simply. Yeah. yeah. And they still don't see that. Yeah. That's how asleep they are. Yeah. Well, guess what? They need to be destroyed. They need to be restarted. Man, you know, just like on a physical level, you know, mm -hmm. just imagine trying to talk to someone that's a, that's that's actually sleeping, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, like, yeah. yo, like for example, yeah. like with my woman, you know, like, bro, like when she Your sleeps, are, you know, yeah. like when she sleeps, she, she actually sleeps, right? Yeah. And sometimes, like you know, I will talk to her, you know, and she will reply accordingly to what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. But when she wakes up in the morning, well, she has no idea what the fuck I said to her. She has no, no clue, no clue, right? Yeah. That's just on a physical, you know, um, mm -hmm. level. You know what I mean? Yeah. Imagine on a spiritual level, that's the same thing, man. Yeah, you know, not right? Anything. Imagine trying to talk to someone that's actually spiritually asleep. Yeah. You know, yeah. you might be telling him everything, bro, yeah. but they won't actually perceive it, man. Yeah. Because why? Because they're asleep. They're yeah. on pretty much, you know, a different realm, man. Yeah, the whole, yeah literally in a whole different realm. <laughs> yeah, you know, like you're, a different the, the, state vibrate, of the frequency yeah, you're yeah. vibrating on, they're not yeah. even near that. Yeah, they're nowhere near that. You know? Which is a beautiful thing. That's why. Yeah. And that's, on a, that's a simple, simple example. <laughs> it's cold as <laughs> fuck out here. It's kind of wearing skirt, uh, a mini skirt. Yeah, mini skirt. Just because you want attention, just because just yeah. spiritually you're a whole. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it is. You're such a whole that you want to, you know that yeah, it, yeah. you is logic to wear a skirt in, in, in cold times. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. You can't trust a woman like that. You can't trust a woman like that. That's that confused? Yeah. <laughs> you can't trust her. Yeah. Yo, like I remember seeing uh, this one quote or something where like, you know, like, you know, I'm a... Uh, you know, I'm a god, can't even please women. You know, I'm a, he gave them eyebrows, they shave it up, and then, you know, they, they draw it back yeah, in. Yeah, they draw it back in. <laughs> so, you, and then you people get mad at us. Like, this doesn't make sense to you? It's so true, oh, man. Oh, man. You know? That is so hilarious. Yeah. It's true. And they, and they get cheese when they can't draw them back out. Yeah. Draw them back on. Like, yeah. bitch, you had it on regularly in the first place. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was telling you, like, bro, every day, bro, it's like this place is getting worse and worse and worse, and you can just, like, you can just feel it, yeah, you, you know? Feel it. You it can, weighs oh, on you heavy. Man, it does, it yo. Weighs on you heavy. Yo, that's exactly what I was looking for. Like, yeah. it does put a lot of pressure on your shoulders, yeah, man. Definitely. You know, it's like, fuck, man, I want to get the fuck out of here. Yeah, man. you're like, yeah. You're, you're a righteous spirit, or a spirit trying to be righteous, righteous. vibrating, but yet, it, like, it's like, it's like claustrophobic. Yeah. It keeps closing you trying to close you in. Yeah, man. Like, imagine, like, imagine, you know, like, um, you're in a basketball game, right? You know, you're fucking hungry. Like, you want to win, but four of your other teammates don't give a shit. They don't care. Yeah. Yo, you're, 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 like, you're, like, you know, I'm a, you're, like, that shit burns, man. Yeah, like, come on, man. What yeah. the fuck you guys doing? Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, that hurts. cheeses you. Why? Because you want to fucking win, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? That goes to show you, you know, that, you know, I'm a pretty much, like, I'm a, like, I'm a, like, I'm a, like, I'm a, like, I'm a that individual, you know, has a different mindset than the rest, you know, that are around him. Right. Although, you know, uh, they're his teammates or her teammates, yeah. right? He has a different mentality, man, yeah. you know, and he's on a different level, man. Right. So, you know, he's going to pretty much get cheese, bro. That's right. And just be like, That's fuck right. this, man, I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, ask for a trade. 
<laughs> and it says right here, um, therefore let us not sleep as do others. So it's telling you, it's telling you that there's people that are sleeping. You know? Don't sleep like that, man. That's why that's why that that, that phrase, stay woke. I know Jake coined that phrase. It's true. Stay awake, man. There's no point in sleeping in this kingdom. Yeah. It's like sleeping in the house of a murder. <laughs> Why would you sleep in the house of a murder? It'll yeah. kill you. Yeah. That's Esau. At any moment. Yeah. That's why it says, what is your safety and safety inside of destruction? Yeah, inside of destruction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're asleep and all of a sudden, wow, yeah. stab in your sleep, you're done. Yeah. Inside of destruction. You no. Know? No. You just stay in your sleep. Yeah. Physically and spiritually. <laughs> And it says, but let us watch and be sober, for they that sleep, sleep in the night. Don't take that in as drinking wine. Sober means to be, you know, when you look up the word sober, it means to, it means to be in, in an alignment, to be straight-minded, to, to be able to discern from left and right. Yeah. When you're drunk, it's not that you can't discern, you rather, you just don't care to. Yeah. So, this you're, is, you're pretty much in the mood of having a good time. Yeah, you Only. don't care. Yeah, because people say... You know, that's a funny thing, because people, on a carnal level, to explain this, people will get drunk. Oh, I was drunk, I don't know what I was doing. No, no, you know what you're doing, it's just that you didn't want to care about it yeah, at that time exactly. and place. It's a lack of showing that you care. Exactly, yeah. it's the same thing with these people in the kingdom, yeah. or and, in the society. <laughs> yeah, and the funny thing is that the reason behind it, or uh, what they use as an excuse is that I'm drunk. So yeah. therefore, you gotta have some sympathy for yeah. me, you know, for the action that I did back yeah, then. Yeah, nah, yeah, Nah, it's not like yeah, that. Yeah. You know, you know, you're drunk. You chose to be drunk. Yeah. And therefore, you know, uh, whatever consequences or, or or whatever action that you know um um that you chose to put it much to do, there's consequences that you will have to reap for yeah, man, later. Exactly, exactly, and that's you know? the same thing in, the, in, in when it comes to the truth, man. Yeah. All these people, all these people, especially our people, you guys want to be drunk. You want to stay drunk. Yeah. You don't want to know what the hell is going on, and and, and you want to just do. Oh. You, just, you just don't want to care about yeah. what you do. Yeah. And so when we tell you, hey, sober up, spiritually, sober up. Remember who you are. Yeah. Come back to the Most High. Yeah. You get cheesed. Yeah. You know, and the reason why people, you know. Um, like people are drunk is because they're trying to escape reality. You know, yeah. it's, it's you know it's thing, you know yeah. it's the same thing like um, what people do drugs. Yeah, you know, yeah. and so on and on. It's because you know um, they want to pretty much uh, run away in or a, in, a, in a made up world. Of exactly, themselves. you know, they want to escape reality because they because they know that you know pretty much uh, like you know um. Um, they know that, you know, they know that, uh, you know, um, that the reality, you know, um, it's not a place for them. Mm -hmm. That's why, you know, they like to be told lies and so on and on. That's why, you know, these people like to be trusted. That's true, they and, know they don't you know, belong. Yeah, and, true. yo, and guess what reality is? This truth, what yeah. we're telling you, that is reality. Yeah. These people are actually insane. We're sane, you <laughs> yeah, know? Yeah, but, insane. but it's totally flipped because right. because there's more of them than us. Yeah. You know, that's Absolutely. why, you know, I'm a, this world is totally flipped around. Huh? Yeah. No? Absolutely. Very true. Yes. Absolutely, Absolutely. And it says, But let us who are of the day, also like a limit that, for they that sleep sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. That's right. Right now, we're in the night. Right now, we're in the night because people don't understand the truth. The only people that are in the day are the elect. Those are only, because you don't, you know, like, obviously, uh, uh, in a general sense, it doesn't make sense to sleep during the day. You have things to do. No. People sleep at night, no. right? So, we're, right now, you know, we're the ones who are, is, 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 that, that are awake during the day. Yeah. Well, everybody else is like, ah, you know, it's down near 11 o'clock. 12 o'clock in the afternoon and people are sleeping. You know, and then they want to be up all night partying. Yeah. And that's when you should be sleeping. Yeah. So everything, again, it comes back to confusion. Right? Yeah. It comes back to confusion. Everything's backwards. Exactly. And then also, you know, like the day um, or light. You know, like the yeah, first thing yeah. that the Lord created was light, right. and light represents knowledge, man. And you know, like what the brother said, you know, that the prophets are of the day, meaning that they actually have the knowledge, man. Yeah. You know, but these people are of the night because night represents what darkness. Yeah, yeah. You know, darkness and wickedness. Yeah. You know, 
That's why. That's why they call us black. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> which you know, which again, you know, like that term has a vibration. You know, there's a vibration to everything. Colors. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, like you know, I'm a, for example, like you know, um, if you build a house and everything in the house is yellow or whatever, you know, the walls are yellow, you're gonna be um. In a great mood. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, everything yeah. has a vibration yeah, to it, man. Vibration, but if yeah. everything is dark, for example, right? Like when we see um. Like, like right now, it's gray out. Yeah. It's very gloomy. Yeah, you know, like, 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 like it makes you sleepy. Yeah. You, know, you know, like you don't want to work. Yeah, you right? don't want yeah, work. Yeah. You know, or like, you know, um, when you see girls, you know, um, that are emo, you mm -hmm. all like think that they're dark. Why? Because of all the black that they have mm -hmm. on, bro. Yeah, it's a part, right? yeah. It's <laughs> an instant vibration. It's like, you know, yeah. just automatically, you know, all you see is black on them. You're like, girl, very like true. you know, like this does not look yeah, right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Very true. So everything has a vibration to it. That's why Esau calls us, you know, black, but you know, I'm a he's white. Mm. You know? But he's not right. He's red. That's right, bro. Red. That's right. And it says. Oh, it's all, I know it's freezing, man. Yeah. That's right, man. Jesus is a Negro. According to the scriptures, uh, well, if he was here today, he'd be a so-called Negro. But he's actually he's actually an Israelite. Yeah. The Negroes are not actual Negroes. They're ne Israelites too. They're from a tribe of Judah. The tribe of Judah. It's the same with the North American Indians and the so-called Latinos. They're all they're all Israelites. These, those names are like names given from their oppressors. Ah, right. Which we were just saying, names like that push out of their bad vibration. Yeah, yeah. Right. Like when somebody calls you black. You know, black actually comes out of a dark vibration. You're yeah. not black. That's you're true. a brown. certain shade of brown. Yeah, brown. exactly. You know, there's there's actually nobody that's black in this world, and there's nobody that's white. Yeah. You know, there's different uh, there's shades. different shades of brown. Yeah. There's darker shades and there's lighter shades. You know, and that's these people, people are weird. Yeah, you know, and um, you know, you know, um, I look around. You know what I mean? Yeah, man, real shit. Like, yeah. like, just off of that logic alone, yeah. then you'd be like, okay, if that's the truth, then what about it's white people? White. Yeah. Well, that, it right. shows you whether there's something, there's a discrepancy there. Yeah. Why they can be really off the grid when it comes to that shade. Yeah, and also like you know, if you just look up the word black on you know the dictionary, it means you know I'm a like you know, I'm a you know I'm a dark wickedness. You know yeah. um you know like I'm yeah. something. So it's associated. With yeah, yeah, exactly right. But then when you look at white, exactly right. You know, but then when you look at white, it means pure, clean, yeah. you know what I mean? A wedding dress. Exactly, yeah. right? So again, man, you know, different words throw out a different vibration and it degrades our people, man. Yeah. You know, now you got our people, when you ask them what's your nationality, they oh, say I'm black. black. What the fuck is black, yeah. bro? That, you know, that's not a nationality, bro. Yeah, you can't be African-American, that's two continents. Yeah. yeah. That's, the, that that's I was thinking about that today, too. Some lady, I like some. Someone was like, "Yo, who's a black guy?" And then some lady jumped in and was like, "Yo, he's African Canadian." Yeah. <laughs> I know that was a thing, yeah. but I guess it is now. Yeah, like, thanks like, for speaking for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you can't be. Your ethnicity is a bloodline. Yeah, it exactly. Has nothing yeah. to do with the land or, or like where you were born. Or where you were born. Yeah, yeah. Like some people were conceived on a boat. Yeah, you know. So what does that make them? You know what I mean? <laughs> so you a water animal? Yeah, yeah. You a mermaid? Yeah, yeah. That's exactly. where mermaids were born. Yeah. Exactly. Why do you got ball shoes on though? What's that? Why do you got ball shoes on? Oh yo, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. just like you have shoes. No, I was like, you're ready to ball right now. Nah, like, oh, nah. I've done this. Nah, yo, I'm yo, yo, <laughs> no, no, yo, like, I, like, no, these are just my gym shoes, my runners. Nice, yeah. yeah. Nice. You guys from here? Yeah, uh, we live out here. Yeah. Oh, that's what's up. I just moved here recently. Oh, okay, so okay, you guys okay. are black from black people I've seen. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm from Winnipeg. You're from Winnipeg? I, like, I thought you were, uh, you were from Toronto. No, no, no. Yeah. 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 Fuck that. <laughs> Unless you're from Toronto. No. Fuck you out there. <laughs> no, man. No, okay. no uh, this is crazy, man. Yeah. You guys out here all day, eh? Yeah, yeah. yeah well, every, every, every Sunday. You come here every Sunday? Yeah. Every Sunday. All right, man. It was nice meeting you guys. That's okay. okay. Gotta keep walking. Yeah, you too. All right, man. Take it down. Yeah. That's right. Uh, we were here on uh, verse 7. Okay, yeah. Come Go to yeah. 13. Can't, Verse 13, and it says. No, I mean, like, start. Yeah, read okay. the 13. Oh, oh, Salah. Okay. Okay. No, gotcha. Verse 7, it says, For they that sleep sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith. Yo, I fucking love that scripture, man. <laughs> putting on the breastplate of faith. You know, like, you gotta wear that with an honor, man. No matter what anybody says, the truth is the truth, and that's what you will stand for, man. You know? 
putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for an helmet, the hope of salvation. Mm -hmm. For Yahweh has not appointed us to wrath. Now you got people, you know, the so-called Christians that will read that and see like, see, God did not appoint us to wrath. You know who this was talking, talking to? Talking to, exactly. <laughs> you know? you know? But then again, they're all talking about, you know, you're taking things out of context. No, you're you know, but, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? Bro, you That's know why that argument is so <laughs> silly. Because it's like, it's like okay, they use it when they want to. Exactly, and then they'll say the same thing about you. It's like, yeah. okay, well, you know what? Fuck, keep moving. That. Yeah, okay, it's not gonna go nowhere. It'll just go yeah. in circles. Exactly. Huh. It says, "For Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, hath not appointed us unto us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, yeah. who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep." We should live together with him. Yo, know, so that's deep yeah. because even though, you know, that's real yeah. deep because, yo, know, how is the, the Most High has unmatched, unleveled compassion and love for his people because at the same time, see, the balance to what the other, the other side of the same coin that we're speaking about would be, okay, one side of that coin is that you guys are all getting destroyed if you don't listen. The yeah. other side is like, well, the Most High, in the end of the day, when everything is brought back into Yahushua's kingdom, even the other nations are going to be in their right mind. Two-thirds of our people are going to be in their right mind. So yeah, they might sleep now and go through a bunch of destruction, but they're going to be brought back through, um, you know, they're going to be brought back through the elect and the one-third. Mm -hmm. And they're going to come back with their right mind. So guess what? There is an end goal. Yeah. There is an end goal. We are, we are going to come back to a clean society both physically and mentally yeah. spiritually yeah or or salaki no no actually you know? that's it that's it oh okay. Okay. salaki you know i'm or even like when you think about it with the elect men the 144,000, you know that are born in this planet right they did not just come out the womb learning or knowing that they were israelites you know um knowing the name of the lord they didn't know those yeah, things yeah yeah they had to come to a time where they were going to these, you know, I'm a filthy ass churches, learning about Jesus Christ and so on and on, and then bam, when it was time, the Lord woke them up. So, exactly. so again, right, it says whether, it says whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with Him because at one time we were asleep, yeah. but now we're awake, man. Right? Exactly. You know? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Very you know? Yeah. So, you know, at the end of the day, you know, the elect are going to be woke. Yeah. And when they get beamed, you know, to that chariot, they're going to have that mark. You know, um, you know, uh, exemption. of exemption, like it says in the book of uh, Ezekiel nine and four. That's right. Which is, you know, to, to piggyback to what the brother is saying too, off what the brother is saying. That's why the elect see, even in the kingdom, there's going to be order and levels. That's why the elect are going to get even more than two thirds of Israel. Yeah. Because guess what? They were not just. They weren't only woke now, but, but they, they were also woke. they're going to be woke in the kingdom, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. So it's like. The and they're gonna standard. know more in the kingdom. Yeah, they're gonna know yeah. more in the kingdom. So it only serves them right. Yeah. Suits them right. Yeah. <laughs> that's right, that's right. And it says, verse 11, Wherefore comfort yourself together and edify one another, yeah. even as also ye do. Yeah, yo, you know, like honestly, man, you know, like you can respect them. Yeah, you know, like, and that goes to show you, you know, like, you know, and that goes to show you, bro, that spirit come back, bro, because you see examples of these in the scriptures, where the Lord said, you know, if you give these little ones, you know, a cup of cold water, in this case, you shall not lose your reward. Yep. Yeah. Bro, like, bro, like, that's you know, that's a beautiful thing. It really is. <laughs> yo, cool yo <laughs> the Lord, bro, yeah. that, yo, that, yo, like, that's, you know, just like little things like that, yeah. you know, bro, like, it speaks volume to the elect, you know, to the men, you know, that actually understand these scriptures. Mm -hmm. Right? Really see what's really going on. It, exactly, bro. It's like, you know, it's like, you know, if, you know, for example, like, if you see Jerry, bro, like, that speaks volume. Yeah. On it even builds our faith up even more yeah. because we see this, you know, these examples, you know, like yeah. these portions of things, you know, that the Lord gives you in order to in exactly in order to continue. Mm. You know, 
That's what it's all about. It's about yeah. helping us continue. Bro, that's, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. because, you know, obviously the, the, the Lord knows that we're in the yeah. flesh, yeah. you know, and we have some wicked thoughts, you know, yeah. you know, here you know, and there. And yeah, you know what I mean? That we have to rebuke as well or not, you know? We rebuke, huh. we gotta rebuke ourselves. That's every right. Day. That's right, you know? And, you know, um, and it actually, uh, like, you know, I'm a pleases the Lord that, you know, that, like, you know, I'm a, we're not perfect, hence why the Lord loves, you know, Ankatra. A contrite spirit, spirit, you know, yeah. you will go, bro, regardless of who you are in this space, yeah, you're going to go off here and there so that you can humble yourself and pray unto the Lord. Yeah. If you don't ever go off, oh, what, you give him back what glory. do you need to pray yeah, for? Yeah. You know what I mean? See? You know, wow. if you don't go off, what do you need to pray for? Everything is good, you know, I'm 100%. But guess what? The Lord will put you in situations where you will fuck up and you will get on your knees and you will pray unto the yeah. Lord. And that's what the Lord wants. A contrite spirit, man. You know, someone that is humble. Yeah. You know? That's so true. That's why the scriptures say you don't let your sins weigh you down. Down, yeah. Because, because you need to be balanced. Yeah, you did fuck up and acknowledge it, but yeah. now what are you going to do? Yeah. Are you going to you keep complaining or you're actually going to try to do better? Yeah. Yeah. You know? And when you actually think that you're not good yeah. and that you're wicked or whatever, you know, that yeah. you're not where you need to be, yeah. that's you examining yourself and actually, you know, pretty much putting yourself to the test so that you may go to, you know, that's a good thing, yeah. you know. For example, right, if you have a basketball player who's actually good, he fucking, you know, he's, he's the best player, but he never has a mentality as I'm the best, he's always looking to get better um, and he never thinks that he's better than anyone else, yeah. guess what, that person's gonna go far. Oh, Why? Really? Because yeah. he's always gonna be improving. Yeah, you he's know? always examining himself. Exactly, but the people that are content with what they have and they think, and they think that they're the shit, yeah. bro, they're gonna stay on that same level forever. Ever. You know, they're they're not gonna, Yo, if you don't get better, you get worse. Which honestly, growth is the only, the only, the only in this truth, man, you can only fail when you don't grow. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> That's if you don't it. grow, you're yeah. fa you are you are an utter failure. Yeah. Because what are you doing? Yeah. Why are you here? Yeah. Why aren't you growing? Like the scripture says that the word is like living water. Exactly. Living why, right? Water. Why are you a stagnant water? You know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And that's where like a lot of, you know, like, you know, I'm a feel things do well, you know, um, in a water that's stagnant. Like, yeah. you know, mosquitoes, dirt, yeah, yeah. you know, because there's no flow. There's no life to it. It's exactly, not exactly. I don't know. And it says verse 12, but we beseech you, brethren, to know them which labor among you and are of and are over you in the Lord and admonish you. And to esteem them highly in love for their work's sakes. Hence the apostles and the older brothers, men, and the elect. And you gotta give credit where credit is due. Huh. And it says, um, and esteem them, and to esteem them very highly in love for their work sakes and to be at peace among yourselves. Right. Now we exhort you brethren, warn them that are unruly, yeah. comfort the feeble minded, support the weak, be patient toward all men. Right. See that none render evil for evil unto any man, but follow, but ever follow that which is good both among yourselves and to all men. Rejoice forever, pray without ceasing. In everything, give thanks, for this is the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai in Yahweh in Yahweh Shah Hamashiach concerning you. That's right. That was it. Uh, verse verse eighteen. Okay, so with that, we're gonna close up. We're gonna say. Kahala Yahweh wa Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakab Kudash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the elect, pushing this word in truth and sincerity uh, across the four corners of the earth. Con, con. Death and destruction of the wicked kingdom, two of the Israel and Esau. Con. Sal salutations. Con. Shalom.